Hey guys, Alex here with Tool Rev, and today we're installing a garbage disposal. So this is your basic ring mount disposal. Once you've installed one, you've pretty much installed them all. They come with a ring mount assembly, and you're gonna get a discharge tube with a rubber gasket that attaches to the garbage disposal drain. This is an inch and a half uh, diameter tube. This one came with a power cord pre-installed from the factory, but not all of them do, so you wanna check for that if you need a power cord, like I do for this new install. If you're swapping out an old disposal, you can usually use the old power cord by just following the directions in the new manual. So the only other, other thing that I need to install this disposal is a P-trap, and you can pick up one of these kits from Home Depot or Lowe's. What's gonna happen is our uh, disposal drain is gonna drop into the P-trap. That traps water to prevent sewer gas leaking into your house. Uh, the trap connects to a wall tube, and that wall tube slides into your sewer drain, which is stubbed out of the back wall there. So the first thing we have to do here is install our sink flange with some plumber's buddy. So I'm gonna pull out this catch, and to get to the sink flange, we need to remove this snap ring, and to get to that, we have to back off these screws. So we're gonna back them off all the way. All right, so now we can see our uh, snap ring. We're gonna take a flat head screwdriver and just pop that off. Pull off our upper ring mount. This is a fiber gasket that goes up from underneath. We're gonna go ahead and put some plumber's putty on our sink flange and drop it in from the top. Make sure this is clean. And take some plumber's putty. This is OD plumber's putty. Let's make a ring. Just wrap it around here. Squish that on there. I'm not going to worry too much about this. It'll squish out the excess. And then just get your logos lined up the way you want them. Let's see. All right, squish that in. Give it a pretty good press. And that way it'll stay in place when you put on the lower flange. So this is a little bit tricky to hold everything in place and put this on. There's a couple ways to do it. One, I have another flange right here. One is to just do it by hand. So you can just kind of snap it on. It's not that hard to do. Another way is to snap it on with the screwdriver. But Moen makes it easy and they give you a little snap ring tool. And you just slide the ring in here so and then when everything goes into place we'll just slide that in and pull the plastic uh, ring tool off and it'll snap it into place so put our washer followed by this throw this guy on okay. and then I'm gonna snap our ring on there done now you just want to tighten all these um, screws up evenly. If you start seeing this flange bend, you've, you're over tightening it. So what you want to see, you can look in the, you can see between the groove there, between the flange and the sink, when that gets all cinched up, that's when it's tight. Now I want to line up my disposal just to get an idea where the plumbing is going to go and so the drain looks like it's going to have to be on the left so I'm going to need to cut this wall pipe down this pipe attaches to the drain you have the slip washer here and it just slips back and forth so you can cut your pipe where you need it and slide this in and out and then lock it on you don't want your drain tube your uh, wall tube to go past the wall and so let's see that should be good. Should be a good length right there. Put your nut on, then put your slip washer on. I want to clean off those burrs. Get that sucker on there. All right. Now we can slide that in there. Set it where we need it. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is attach discharge onto the disposal. So I'll take a bracket. Can you see that? Yeah. The nuts or the screws, I mean. Smush that washer, that rubber washer. So it makes a water seal. But this is an inch and a half drain tube. Slide the nut on here. I'm going to slide our the flat side of our slip washer up against the nut. Slide that guy up there. All right. Then set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and install the disposal. We've got the three tabs on the lower ring and the three ramps on the upper ring. You want to look at it first and get that tab lined up with the you know, bottom part of the ramp and lift it up from both sides and it should go on really pretty easy. Take it straight up. And there it is, slide it on, now you're on. Now you can take a break, you can rest my back. So we're on the ramps, you wanna feel around, make sure you're all the way on the ramps. Now we're gonna slide it, twist it as much as we can. <clears throat> Actually, I was able to lock that one in without even using a wrench. But the disposal will still spin, so it makes it easier to line up your plumbing. I'm gonna take my P-trap, I'm gonna slide the washer down <clears throat> a little further than I need to go, and then I'm gonna push the washer back up. Put that on, I'm not gonna tighten it down yet. And then we're gonna slide everything around here until we get this lined up where we want it. And you see on this right here, you don't need a slip washer because this one right here has a built-in washer. Twist this guy. That's got it right there. Yeah, that's going on there. Just tighten it up by hand. You don't need a wrench for this. I mean, you can use a wrench, you know, just be careful. All right, it looks good. No leaks, everything looks good. So I guess that's it, done. And uh, there it is, guys. So that's how you install a garbage disposal. Tune in next time for the dishwasher. That'll be tomorrow because my back hurts. I'm going home. See ya.